At this point in time, I would ask the, our technical guys to sound a, a demonstration of the attack warning sign. believe that it is imperative that we be prepared um, and for for every disaster and in today's world uh, that includes a nuclear attack. Uh, we want to make sure that the public is informed uh, and and the visitors who um, come to our island as well uh, and this this exercise the monthly test is really our effort to make sure that the public understands what what is required of them. Um, again, we would emphasize that the uh, possibility of attack today is very remote, um, but we do believe that it's important that we be proactive, that we uh, plan and are prepared uh, for every um, possibility uh, moving forward. And while we believe that this, the, the threat of any nuclear attack on the state of Hawaii is extremely unlikely, uh, and would not be a productive way uh, for a wartime event. Um, but in the event of that, we still have to plan for that. The whole purpose of doing this unique siren tone for this event is to provide the people of Hawaii, including the visitors, as much warning and preparation time as possible. That is the whole purpose of this unique siren tone. We're the most prepared people in the United States because I don't know how many other places around the country test their sirens every single month and are sensitized to what to do when national, natural disasters occur. This is just one more step in preparation. But I, I want to remind everyone that I mean, we, on this island, we remain the safest, one of the safest big cities in the United States of America. For the residents here, for the visitors who come here. And we want people to continue to celebrate life here and not to be overly concerned, but just be empowered and prepared and as was brought up before, the basic guidance, again, if you hear this, is get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. Now, it sounds simple, but when you have that short a time, about 12 minutes after we get the notification, 12, 13 minutes, that is about all you can do. The main effort is that don't try to get shelter in place and identify where you're going at that time. Get ahead of it. As you're driving to work, when you're at work, when you're driving home, when you're at home, Get an idea of where that shelter in place is at that time. And same thing for your family. You don't want to take a shelter in place and then worry about your wife, your spouse, your husband. They have to have the same plan and you can take some comfort in knowing that they are already prepared and they know where to go. So please keep that in mind. Just get ahead of it. <laughs>